Hi folks, Simon here. Welcome back to the channel. Now, this is an update video after uploading an unboxing and setup guide to the Elgato HD60S Plus device, uh, which I did last time. Now, don't get me wrong, this is a fantastic device and I'm certainly going to be using it still when I'm recording and streaming from my laptop, but there is an issue that yes i should have researched and known about before buying this but i didn't i simply took it for granted that the hd 60 s plus would be able to do this because my other elgato devices could do this and it can't now i get it i'm an idiot i should have uh, as i say i should have researched this i should have looked into it i shouldn't have just assumed these things but i did so i'm willing to make, my, make myself look stupid in order to hopefully help some of you guys out that would like this feature to perhaps choose a different capture device if this is what you're going to want to use it for now what's the problem well right now you can see my ps4 in streamlabs obs and also in the Elgato software, which is the 4K capture utility. And the device I'm using to display these images is the 4K60 Pro Mark II. Now, this is an internal capture device, which is connected in my desktop PC. And as you can see, the picture is absolutely fine. Now, here's the thing. This is a fantastic feature to be able to show the image in both the 4K capture utility and in a separate program such as OBS Studio or Streamlabs OBS because it means that when I click go live or record here from Streamlabs OBS, I'm going to be getting the video along with the commentary I record. On top of that, I'm also going to be getting all of these stream overlays here that you can see. So perfect for streaming. But what if, as I often do, as well as streaming, I also want to have a nice fresh copy of the video that I'm recording without the stream overlay and without my voice commentary? Well, this is what the device does perfectly for me. It allows me to tap record at the same time here in the 4K capture utility and I can get a perfectly clean image on top of the stream that I'm outputting so that I can edit video clips to upload to YouTube with a fresh commentary without the stream interface. It just works perfectly for that. And I just assumed that the uh, HD 60 S Plus would also be able to do this. It can't. Okay, now this is weird because the normal HD60S, which is the predecessor to the S Plus, can. So, I, I am confused by this. But anyway, let's go ahead and connect up the uh, HD60S Plus so you can see what I mean here. Right, so I've got the HD60S Plus connected up now. And you can see that everything's working fine in Streamlabs OBS, just as we would expect it to. But if I go ahead and open the Elgato 4K software here you can see we cannot get an image. Instead, we get this error message saying that the device is in use by other software. So yeah, once we're using the HD 60 S Plus here, we're no longer able to use, as uh, Elgato call it, multi-app support. It's just not possible. Now, whether this is something that's going to be patched in uh, a driver or firmware update in the future, I'm not sure. As I say, you can do multi-app support in the HD 60 S. That's not the Plus version which is the predecessor to the Plus version, which is weird. So it's the older model. You can use multi-app support, but Elgato says you can only do this with the latest driver update for that capture card. So maybe it is a software thing that's preventing this. I just don't know. Well, 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 I was about to actually upload the episode as a warning to you guys, and then I found a solution online. So this is awesome. As you can see here, I currently have the... Uh, Game Capture HD 60S Plus selected, but I'm able to have it running lag free both in the 4K Capture Utility and in Streamlabs OBS at the same time. And this is using a, a pretty interesting workaround actually, since this device doesn't have that multi app support. So, this is the solution. What you need to do is first of all, in the 4K Capture Utility, Make sure under the general tab you have this selected, enable stream link beta and have whatever format you want the uh, video to be shown in your streaming application, in my case Streamlabs OBS. So I've got this selected as 1080p 60 frames per second and then what we need to do is download a small file. So go to this website, I'll leave a link to it in the video description and download uh, where is it? This link here, NewTek NDI SDK. This is only for Streamlabs OBS. If you're using OBS Studio or some other application, you'll need to find 
whatever the NDI application is for that program. But for Streamlabs OBS, I'll find the OBS one for you because I know a lot of you just be using OBS Studio. I'll leave a link to that as well. Uh, but just click it, download it, install it. And once you've done that, I've already done it. Then in your streaming application or recording application, you want to add a source that is the NDI source. Now, this will only be here if you've downloaded that particular NDI pack. So once you choose NDI source, the one you want to select is the stream link. Or it should just come up here as uh, the 4K capture utility. And then you want to select that. And that will bring up the video in your streaming software. Now, the one negative to this is that if you go ahead and close the 4K capture utility, then what's going to happen, I'm pressing the joypad here, nothing's happening on screen, the whole video crashes in Streamlabs or whatever it is you're using. So in that case, you'll have to go back to your normal capture if you're not using the 4K capture uh, software but that's fine because no other application will be using it at that point so you can just go straight back to capturing the from the device itself uh, but otherwise just make sure that you have the 4k capture card uh, so the 4k capture software open and then you just have to use this elgato ndi instead but there we have it then guys a solution for you to work around the lack of multi-app support for the hd 60s plus and it does work very well i have tested this now so thanks so much for stopping by guys. I hope this video has helped you and I'll see you next time.